I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. <laughs> I, I chuckle because today is not a deep knowledge video. You know, going full time has had an unexpected side effect, and that is that I'm always trying to make sure I, I feel so strongly that I want to make my content as high quality as possible. So many of you support me through Patreon and using my affiliate links and just by watching my videos, I want to make sure I'm giving back as much as I'm getting and more. But I used to make these videos that were just these little fun throwaway videos. They still had useful information in them, but they weren't like these epic, you know, research projects. And every time I sit down to make one of those videos on some level, I'm like, oh, oh God, am I copping out? But I love those videos. I'm such a nerd about things like the video I'm making today. So I'm going to make this video, even though it's not an epic whatever. And I, I always say I make five, six videos a week. So I think you can tolerate only you know, one that's not like a 30 minute long epic. And what we're talking about today is tape. Yeah, tape. The tape that you got to have on your bench. I put a lot of thought into ooh, what's the exact right kind of tape to use for each application. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. So we're going to start this video with the most obvious kind of tape that you think of when you think of a tape for electrical applications, <laughs> and that is electrical tape. Despite the intended use of electrical tape, electrical isolation is not the main way that I use this tape on quadcopters. You see, electrical tape comes loose under vibration. It doesn't, it sticks to itself pretty well, but not sort of permanently. It takes up a lot of space. It's messy. If what you want is electrical isolation, then you should go get a bag of heat shrink assortment. I actually have a link to this exact heat shrink assortment and in fact all the other stuff we're talking about in this video down in the video description and at my website FPV Know It All where I've got the ultimate FPV shopping list, all the tools and supplies and etc that you need to build quadcopters. So if I don't use electrical tape for electrical isolation then what do I use it for? I use it to just to hold things together. It's tape, right? So for example here I've got the electrical tape wrapped around the ESC, holding the ESC down to the arm. Yeah, you can do this with a zip tie, but I find that the ESC tends to kind of slide around under the zip tie, and I just think this is a little bit neater and add some color to the quad. Some people think it's messy, especially when I do it like this. Some people find that to be pretty messy. That's, you know, that's, you don't have to if you don't want to. Here's another way that I use it. This is these little dog bone, you know, these little foam rubber landing pads that come with, uh, where's, uh, where's one, where's one? They had more over here, Where they, there they are. So this is these little foam feet that come with various quadcopters as landing pads. And what I find is that they tear off really, they stick really well, but they tear off really easily. And uh, if you just add and wrap it with a little bit of tape, it compresses it slightly, but you still get a little bit of landing pad, but it lasts a lot longer. So those are the ways that I most commonly use electrical tape. Um, if you look here, you can see that I'm also using electrical tape right here to restrain the pigtail on my uh, video transmitter. So just uh, cut a little strip of that and wrap it around there. I like that it stretches, it compresses gently, it sticks to itself. That's kind of how I use electrical tape on these builds. And if you're in the field and you like you smash your balance plug on your battery and the wires are all hanging loose trying to start a fire, yeah, wrap them in electrical tape. It's perfectly good for that. For field repairs, I will use this for electrical isolation because I don't usually bring a whole big heat shrink assortment to the field, but that's not my primary use for it. Now, you don't want to buy the wrong kind of electrical tape. So the kind that I prefer for general purpose use is Scotch 35 vinyl electrical tape. For more heavy duty use, you can get Scotch Super 88. It's the exact same stuff, it's just thicker, it's heavier. It comes in fewer colors. The 88 is available in not as many. Uh, I like to put some color on my quads, usually red. So what I want you, to, what I don't want you to do though, is there's another brand out there. Uh, I think it's Duck brand electrical tape, and it is really garbage. It's so bad, and I think it's because the Scotch stuff is vinyl, and it's got this kind of stretchiness to it, 
and it's got just a little bit of give and stretch. It can really form fit. It's it's very good. The the duck brand tape, I think it's PVC. It's some other kind of plastic, and it tears it doesn't stretch as well it doesn't stick to itself as well it's just really bad so scotch 35 for general purpose scotch super 88 if you want something a little thicker and more durable now this is double-sided foam mounting tape and I, I actually have a couple other kinds of tape that i use if i want to really stick two things together and i'm going to show you in a second but i still have some uses for this uh for example if you look at my ESC here, you can see I've got some of that tape right here in between the ESC and the arm. And this is the point where you guys make jokes, ha ha, he's so into soft mounting, he soft mounts his ESCs. This is not about like vibration resistance, it's just about like shock absorption. When the ESC is right up against the arm, there's some risk of electrical, like you'll get a short to the arm, but also just constantly taking hits to the arms, then the ESC can knock components off it, take some damage. Adding just a little bit of isolation there, insulation there can help protect the ESC against that. It also keeps the ESC from sliding around, although it wouldn't it wouldn't hold the ESC to the arm all by itself. And keeping things from sliding around and providing padding is the primary use for this tape, in my opinion. If I've got, I don't have an example of this handy, but if I've got like a receiver and a video transmitter that I'm going to stack together, I don't want them kind of crushing up against each other with their hard, rigid surfaces. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. So I'll put a couple layers of this in between them. I won't rely on this foam tape to hold them together because it will work loose, especially under impact, but I'll put a couple layers in there and then I'll put like a zip tie around them to kind of hold them together and compress it just a little bit. That's one good use for that. Now there's two problems with this foam tape and one is that it doesn't really hold super securely uh, unless you've got really two flat surfaces and if you just pull off a big reel of it and have two flat surfaces they will stick together really securely but for the kind of stuff we're commonly doing with mini quads where the surfaces are irregular and there may not be a lot of surface area it's not going to hold very well all by itself. The other problem with this stuff is that when you peel it off, it'll often leave behind a foam residue, which is kind of messy and you're constantly scraping it off. And if it's an irregular surface, you're just kind of out of luck. So that brings us then to this stuff. Now this, I get that off of there. This is commonly referred to as servo tape. It is um, outdoor extreme mounting tape. Again, link in the video description if you don't want to try and figure out what it is. And it is a kind of a, it's kind of black, rubbery, stretchy, and super, super sticky. This is the first stuff that I trust to hold stuff in place all by itself. You'll commonly see quadcopters coming from manufacturers with like the receiver and the receiver is just stuck on top of the flight controller with nothing holding it on except this. And the reason that works is that the receiver is relatively light and this stuff is really kind of kind of goopy. It can it kind of conforms to the shape of whatever you stick it to. It gets in all the little crevices and it holds it really well. Now that's a plus and a minus. I once built a quad where I held the ESCs to the arms with this stuff and they didn't come off. In fact, they didn't come off so much that when I needed to replace one, it was really hard to get the tape. It was holding so tight. So actually you use less of this than you think you need to unless you're doing something like you're holding a receiver down to a flight controller and you're not gonna have anything else holding it down. Now you may find that especially on flat surfaces, this stuff doesn't seem to stick so well. So I've just picked up this battery here and I'm kind of scooping it on, but you can see I can really easily just peel it off. This stuff seems to take a little bit of time to set and especially if you let it warm up a little bit, it'll set on and will hold a lot better. But it's not gonna do a great job. Like for example here, we just don't have as much surface area. It's really better when you've got two flattish things. And if you need to do something like a circuit board that has a bunch of components, just take and make like a double layer of it. And then all the little components will stick down in there and help it stick a little better. But it doesn't, on flat surfaces, it doesn't always stick quite so well. And that brings us to the next thing. This is very high bond tape and there's several different colors and types of this. The stuff that I'm working with here is the clear stuff and 
it's really a pain in the ass to get the backing off of it. So you can see, I always just leave a little tail of backing and then you can kind of peel it like that and get at the actual tape. Now this stuff is super thin and super stretchy. And the way that I like to use it is, I'll just pull a piece of it off. The way that I like to use it is to kind of fold it up. Now it's super sticky and it's got a lot of give to it. And if you sort of fold it up into a ball like this, here, we'll go back to the same example. You can see that even on something that's a little bit uneven, it'll kind of get down in there and hold it pretty well. So this is, again, it's really nice for holding, especially irregularly shaped things in place. I use this to hold, I'll give you some examples. Like for example, on this capacitor here, that VHB tape is the only thing holding this capacitor down. And if you look right here, it's a little hard to see, but right here, this camera control adapter right here is just stuck down. You can kind of see it a little bit from the underside. It's just stuck down with that tape. Nothing else is holding it on except that tape. It just holds really well uh, for, for lighter things, it'll hold them in place. And I trust it to hold those things down without any additional reinforcement. Here, I've got a little bit of VHB tape and it is holding the receiver or the video transmitter in place. Now you can see I don't quite trust the VHB tape by itself. Here's the top side so you can get a perspective on what's going on there. I don't quite trust the VHB tape by itself to hold the adhesive. There's just not enough surface area here. So I've got a zip tie here and it's all very, very secure. This is the kind of scenario where I might have used this same double-sided mounting tape. I'm just giving the VHB tape a try. It's got a little bit more give and a little bit more sort of goopy stickiness to it, whereas this stuff would have only had, you know, whatever, just a little bit, an eighth inch. It feels like the VHB got a little bit more grip to it. The next kind of tape I want to show you, this stuff is what I found. I stumbled across this one day while searching for servo tape, which I wanted that black outdoor mounting tape. And I ordered this and it was the wrong thing, but it actually works really well. This is a much sort of more open foam and it's got a really sticky layer to it. It's double sided and it is it's really nice. It holds way more securely than even this VHB tape because it just kind of seems to really get in and to get a grip on it. So for example, here I've got my, right here is my receiver. And this is some of that same tape holding the receiver on top of the video transmitter. And there's nothing else holding it on there except that foam tape. So it's, it's really quite secure, even more secure, frankly, than that VHB tape. The last tape we're going to cover today is this stuff, and this is called Capdun tape, and it is used for electrical isolation. But unlike electrical tape, it is not stretchy. It's quite, quite rigid, actually, and you can't tear it either. You have to cut it. And the actual purpose of Capdun tape is it's a chemical called polyamide. Polyamide? Thalid? Polyid? Well, anyway, it's Captain Tape, and it is very heat resistant. You can use this in situations where you might be soldering right next to it, and it will not it'll not uh, melt or anything like that. Now, that's not what I'm using it for. I actually like this stuff because it's, it's translucent, which means that if you like, if you wrap a receiver in it, you'll still be able to see the LEDs. Yeah, you should use clear heat shrink, but sometimes you don't have that stuff around. This is also useful for if you've got something like a module and you want to protect the module from getting short circuited, you can put a little bit of this stuff on there. It sticks better than electrical tape will. The electrical tape will be more likely to kind of peel off at the edge and this stuff will really stay and it's really good for that. So this is not really like a must have, but I do keep it around, especially for cases where I don't have clear heat shrink in the right size and I just want to wrap something, but I still want to be able to see it. That's Captain Tape. There you go. Those are my favorite tapes. And as silly as some of you are going to think this video is, I have struggled long and hard to find the right, I mean, sticking things to other things is a very essential part of what we do. And finding the right tape to do it will save you a lot of trouble. Instead of having to zip tie and tape and blah, 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 you can just use the right tool for the job and hold something in place. Now you know. I hope you liked the video. There's links to all this stuff down in the video description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying.